spade involving state Senator Burt Johnson. Let's go straight to the scene in Highland Park. 7 Action News reporter Dave Llewellyn can tell us what's going on there. Dave. Joanne, very little right now. In fact, FBI agents from the Detroit field office all left here just about 20 minutes ago, but they have spent most of the morning here inside the home of State Senator Burt Johnson. We could see through the windows that uh, FBI agents were putting papers into boxes and then carrying them from the home. Uh, in addition, we saw at least one computer being removed from the home as well as some long boxes, which we were uh, not certainly uh, aware of what was inside those at this time. But uh, a lot of activity inside this house. And we're also told the state senator's office in Lansing was being searched today as well, a joint FBI Michigan State Police operation. Burt Johnson has served in Lansing since 2010. He's a significant player in Democratic Party politics in the state of Michigan. He's also had his share of financial troubles, most related to political campaigns and not paying his bills. Typically, with investigations like this, the FBI says little, and that was the case again here today. For folks here, especially in the neighborhood, um, that, that are wanting to make sure uh, that it is, in fact, a FBI personnel, I'm here to confirm that, yes, it is FBI personnel that are here on site uh, at this residence in Highland Park uh, conducting a law enforcement activity. And again, that activity uh, wrapped up just about 20 minutes or so ago. There were dozens of FBI agents here, a couple of uh, cars belonging to Michigan State Police troopers as well, assisting in this operation. We reached out to say Senator Burt Johnson by phone, but uh, he did not uh, answer, has not responded as yet. Uh, again, the FBI saying very little about what it was that they are looking for in this investigation inside the home here and in the Lansing office of State Senator Burt Johnson. We are live in Highland Park. Dave Llewellyn, 7 Action News. Dave, I know you'll keep us posted when we learn more. Thank you so much for the live report.